really truly want to clear up one of the biggest mis misconceptions on OneCoin. And you need to understand as I go on, things are the same, but reality, they are so different. You know, we think about music. How do you listen to music today? Are you still listening to cassette tape or are you listening to CD? And I can expand this. I can go CD to the MP3 player even, right? But we'll stop there. Let's talk about MySpace or Facebook. Are you still using your MySpace account or did it get phased out by Facebook? Now, I'm not saying that Facebook crushed MySpace, Facebook killed MySpace, Facebook did anything like that, but I am saying that people found Facebook more useful and stopped using MySpace. Are you an example of this? How do you browse the internet? Are you still, in you, are you still using Netscape or have you moved up to Google? These two slides are pretty self-explanatory. I really don't know how much I have to say about this. When's the last time you sat at home, watched a movie that you rented from Blockbuster? I know people in Canada haven't done it since 2011. Change has happened. This is a part of life. You can embrace the change or you can fight the change. Just like back in the day, and I can use the example of VHS and DVDs, people said they would never buy DVDs. Well, today, do you, at your house, is there VHSs or DVDs? Are you listening to the cassette or listening to the CD? The cassette came out in 1962. It was replaced October 1982. Um, Sony's first, or sorry, Compact's disc, 1982. Then some happened quicker than others though. MySpace came out in 2003. Facebook replaced MySpace in a sense 2004, or at least in your time of the day. Again, I ask, are you using MySpace or are you on Facebook? And then going back to the Blockbuster Netflix example, you can see here, Blockbuster started 1985. Netflix started 1997. Well, check this out. Netflix expanded with streaming to Canada in 2010. Blockbuster Canada to close remaining stores, August 31st, 2011. Getting back to clearing up the misconception. People assume one coin is like Bitcoin or it's like the stock market. It's just another thing that you buy, you hope the value goes up and then you sell. But it's just so much more than just simply buy and sell. What I need you guys to do with me right now is like it says there, expand your mind and you need to not be fooled by the simple minded. What is Dr. Ruja Ignatova Innovation? Well, as you can see, she is seeking people around the world who want to work as a team of minor slash educators and together as a team, mine 1.5 billion of the 2.1 billion that we have in supply. She is not seeking someone who is seeking a get rich scheme where they can dump all their coins and flood the market for new investors. She is controlling this coin growth at all aspects to ensure the ship we are all sailing together remains on course and together we help millions around the world. First though, do know these facts. Over 1.7 million active members out of that 1.5 billion I told you is her goal to get out of there, like to get going, she wants us to mine, sorry, together, over 585 million are already done. We mine 1.44 million coins a day, all day, every day. 10,000 coins every 10,000 minutes, or sorry, every 10,000 minutes. 10,000 coins every 10 minutes. Know this as well, hundreds of millions of coins are already accounted for. There are lots of people who are waiting for coins and there are a lot of people who have tokens right now waiting for the split will soon be mining for coins. I'm saying there's 585 million that are already mined. We are a lot closer to the 1.5 billion than people expect. Do know OneCoin started mining mid-January 2015 and OneCoin is just step one. This is much bigger than people understand. But there is a reason, May 4th, 2015, I dropped everything I was doing online to focus on this. And I need you to know, to those that have known about this for a few weeks or a few months, understand, I sat on the sidelines for a bit too. You know, my knowledge on this went back to April 3rd, but I didn't take action until May 1st. 
And as I put there, it's hard to put, um, it's hard to put your hard earned money towards something that your senses aren't available to help convince your brain because cryptocurrency isn't something you can physically touch. It's not physically, you see it. It's not, it's, it's, it's numbers. It's, it's algorithm is it's crypto space. It's in the online world as everything else is in this future to come. But at times you just need to rely on your gut and what you feel like you should do rather than what others are telling you to do. And don't get me wrong, me and my old business partner are still good friends. But back on May 1st, when I wanted to get his focus with me on one coin, he, his heart wasn't there. And three days later, I made my own choice. And that's like I say, May 4th, I dropped everything. 10 and a half months later, bringing us to today, I'm living the life I've chased since 2007 when I got into online business. At the same time, I now have a second chance because I missed that Bitcoin boat back in 2009. I could have got Bitcoin for pennies. It's topped out at over $1,000 and today it's right around $400. Remember, so far, our one coin has skyrocketed to number two in market cap of cryptocurrency. No. Our 50 cent coin is now up to 565 and we only started mining our coin mid January. The first year, year and a half of Bitcoin, it was still selling for pennies. But here's the chart compared to Bitcoin who have been around since 2008. And you can see the available supply of Bitcoin, 15,300,000 coins. Whereas the available supply of one coin is 585 million. What's Bitcoin's total supply? 21 million, so they can mine another six. What's our total supply? 2.1 billion, we still have another 1.5 to mine. This is but how real and how quickly and how fast the 1.7 million members are already part of OneCoin going back to when the education package is starting selling, which was September 27, 2014. This is what we've done since then. And there's a lot more to come in the future because we still need educators and miners. We need more people within our OneCoin network. And that's why I'm here right now, because I want to help clear up the misconception that I know everybody has. Think about the growth moving forward. We've mined 28%. They've mined around 75%. We mine as a team 1.44 million new coins a day, all day, every day. And in Bitcoin's case, it can take up to 700 days to mine one Bitcoin individually. Ask yourself this, who do you see as the future number one? An available supply of 21 million, an available supply of 2.1 billion. A coin in the first year that went from 10 cents up to whatever cents it was around, or a coin in the first year that's went from 50 cents to $5 and 65 cents. Or I guess if I'm saying the first year, it was uh, 4.45. So 50 cents to 4.45. You know, what do you see as the future number one? And that's what I asked myself. That's what I hope you're asking yourself. But moving on, let's just say that one coin, it's not that buy and sell coin that everybody has their mind frame stuck on. Like they're so used to with stock markets or Bitcoin or Litecoin or Ripplecoin or Dogecoin or all the other coins. See, this is the thing. Us in Canada and USA, we don't understand how huge Dr. Ruja's innovation really, really is, as we're blessed to be in North America. But USA and Canada are small fishes in the big sea of population. And like I say there, you can be simple-minded and look at this as just simply a buy and sell coin like everything else. Or realize there are three huge reasons Dr. Ruja created one coin. And it's not so you get rich quick. The first reason and the number one reason that one coin was created, as you can see, the World Bank reports 2 billion people have no bank accounts. Some countries, and you can see here, I believe that South Africa are as high as 80% of their population. Now that's what I say here. We're blessed to be in Canada and USA. You can see here, we don't even have any shade of green. But look at the rest of the world you know, outside of Europe. This is the number one reason for one coin. Number two reason 
person to person international money transfer exceeds 600 billion. And these people are getting charged 29% to send money back home. So going back to this slide, people around the world come work in Canada, they come work in the USA. And what do they do with the money that they earn? They send it back to their hometown or sorry, home country, home continent, wherever they're from. Being charged up to 29% to send that money back home. So just like, these are the facts. Somebody goes and they make, you know, um, $1,000, they go ship it back home. That $1,000 just gets taken down to 710. It's crazy how Western Union, MoneyGram, all these other institutions are just using and abusing the most volatile people in my opinion like the the people who are the most needy of a situation and they're just getting the most outrageous fees like some people are being charged if you were to look at this as a credit card 300 percent annually it's it's just crazy but this is reason number two that dr ruja wants to do one coin because everybody knows and even the bitcoin people agree Cryptocurrency is the way of the future because it is not involved the fees that people are paying today when they're doing uh, bank wire to wire transfers or Western Union to Western Union transfers or so on and so forth. And what's reason number three? Well, that's what you guys all think is reason number one to protect income and wealth. And that is the future of one coin. We will be seeking the sideline cheerleaders to sell them our coins in the future. They will be important to us as future investors. But don't think for a second that you're an investor. And if you think you're an investor, then you're not looking at this right. You're looking at this buy sell today or 60 days. You know, don't go putting all your money from your bank account into this if you need to take it all right back out. Because like I hope I'm making clear here, we're looking for people that are going to help us as a network and family mine 1.5 billion coins that are going to watch this coin value grow and just reap the rewards after its future success. You need to understand, whatever you want to call us, team, family, network, we are part of Dr. Ruja Ignatova's envision, innovation. And together with her at the realm steering our ship, our first and biggest step is getting to 1.5 billion coins mined. So there is potential for global use. And in this picture right there that you see, that's Dr. Ruja Ignatova back in 2014 being awarded Businesswoman of the Year for the country of Bulgaria. Why? The one coin concept. One of the reasons why I found it so easy to put this faith in this 10 and a half months ago. Mind you, after sitting on the sides for 27 days thinking I know what I'm talking about. I'll say this, if you're a buy now, sell 60 days mind frame. As you sell your coins today, know this. November 1st, 2013, Bitcoin was $198.51. One month and three days later, it was $1,147.25. Go back a couple of years before that, May 12th, 2011, Bitcoin was at $6.30 US, which is currently the US value of the one coin today. I will add, if you want to just look at this as a buy sell coin, then keep looking from the sidelines. We're not, you're not what we're looking for. We're looking to like, like even my websites, it's, you know, um, OC future of payments or onecoinfamily.com. You know, like this is about family, about the future. It's not about short term memory, 60 days from now. I want to get rich quick. I want to be able to sell all my coins, can and flood the market. And I don't care about the new people coming in. Yeah, your mind frame isn't part of this. We don't want you part of this. But don't worry. In the future, we need you. You're the number third person. You're the person that's going to protect your income and wealth, buying the one coins off us educator miners. But that's what we're looking for. We're looking for educator miners. Or educated miners, even. <laughs> Speak of buy and sell coins. The sooner you are part of Bitcoin, the better. As all, as everything. You know, I was talking to um, father-in-law there and he was telling me about how uh, he used to, back in the day when he worked in the gold mine, he was, it was $35 an ounce for gold. You know, well, think about that. People who got to buy gold back then, yeah, this is how it always works. And you can see here from the graph, you know, and this is, oh, sorry, up here, you know, pennies, 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 pennies. Then it gets to a little bit more real, a little bit more real, boof. 
This is where the media starts talking about it. This is where the government stamps it as legal, skyrockets up. And this is, of course, where the USA government starts taxing the citizens on Bitcoin. Hence, one of the reasons why it skyrocketed up. But think about your options that you have today. Because like I say, this Bitcoin is Bitcoin. Everyone knows Bitcoin. Bitcoin goes back to 2008, up, down, all around. The graph shows it. But think about your options today. What is more probable to you? Can Bitcoin 400 get up to 4,000? I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm giving it a maybe slash possible, but I am saying I doubt it. Then next point, can one coin's $5.65 get up to 56.50? Maybe slash probable. And trust me, my numbers in my brain are much higher than 56.50, but who knows what the future holds. But like I say here, I feel it slash faith. And you're gonna see these two words here, fear and faith right there. Understanding in your own self, the difference between faith and fear is very important with choices you're about to make today. Every situation in life, every situation in life, you choose between one or the other. Like, should I go drive to the store? You know, you have faith, you won't get into an accident or no, you know what, I'm gonna stay at home in case I get hurt or in case I get say jump. Or like you're at a bar and you're looking at a pretty girl. Do I approach her and tell her my name? Do you have faith that she won't reject you or do you fear that she will? Every, like, I'm just kind of, anything, everything and anything comes down to simplicity of fear versus faith. So just understand that and maybe now just think about some of your other life choices about when you chose to faith, have faith in it or you chose to fear it. But let's not forget, and I hope you better understand, that us people who are early into this and have the opportunity to mine our one coin as a network, we are not here for a buy sell coin 60 days from now mind frame. We are here to mine this coin as a network and help change the banking problems. Help so millions of people around the world don't get ripped off by huge fees sending money to their loved ones back home. I'm not saying don't, you can sell today. Like me, I sold March 15th, March 16th to prove to myself that their coins are selling. But I don't want to be the person in 2019, my friends come up to me asking about one coin and I'm saying, shoot, I lost faith and sold my coins for six bucks each. Because that person's gonna walk away and say, that person, yeah, he made a mistake. Wow, Ken sold his 30,000 coins for $6 each. Holy shoot, he got 180,000 and could have got 30 million. Yeah, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm playing on in mind and see how this future goes. And like I say, one coin is about future. It's about the future usability of this coin around the world as a currency. But remember, Dr. Faruja's first step is to mine 1.5 billion of our supply because that's what we need for the, the starting grounds of this. And we are well on our way of achieving this together. Do know this. This started with hundreds, a handful of people, to hundreds, to thousands, to now millions. A coin from pennies to dollars to soon to be double digits. All in all, as I said above, one coin is not like other things. This confuses and it scares people. But if you're one that can embrace change and feel you want to be positioned as a minor slash educator, rather a future investor, then take action. Education packages start as low as 130 euro. I don't understand how one cannot balance this risk versus reward and take action. But as I also heard and say, this is much better experienced than explained. Thank you very much for your time. Please do reach out to whomever got you to watch this. Ask your questions directly to them. Don't assume Google is research. If your team leader doesn't have the answers, they will seek them. Know that we are all one within one coin and here to assist. When part of an innovation, only one of two things will happen. We all win together or we all lose together. Just thinking of Netflix. If Netflix didn't put Blockbuster out of business, there would have had a lot of people that had money into Netflix that didn't make a whole bunch of money. But when everybody picked up on Netflix, well, I would have loved to be the person behind Netflix. Understand your success is to their success. Hence why we all work together to ensure each other's success. And as I've mentioned so far together, our 50 cent coin is up to $5 and 65 and a few thousand members is now huge. And we are in over 200 countries worldwide with over 1.7 million people worldwide with the strongest people in the business now getting behind the opportunity. This is the future to come. 
It's now your decision to either decide between, like I said earlier, are you going to have faith in this or are you going to fear this? If you want to sit on the sidelines and be a future investor, great. We need you in the future too. But if you want to be an educator or a minor, I suggest you take action soon because this opportunity is limited and I hope that you're part of it. Thank you very much for your time and bye for now.